Hey guys, Rexland here. We meet again, yet in another PGR character guide video. This time for the new A rank physical support waifu, Anying Zitherwo, created by the GOAT himself, Villier. Truly, Kaolung Supremacy. The Floating Reverie is a story about Han Ying's chapter, and I highly recommend reading Pu Lao's interlude first and then move on to hers for a more enjoyable experience. It'll provide a lot more background knowledge as to how Han Ying came to be. Anyway, let's get straight into what we're here for. Zitherwo shards will be available for exchange in the event shop during this period so you can get one copy of her for free since she's A rank. She will also be available in the permanent pool at 100% rate up, also for this period, and then 80% afterwards. I'll answer this question about meta right now and tell you that she's completely optional, so roll more of her only if you like her, just like me for real. Now let's cut to the chase and jump straight into a tutorial demonstration. Okay, how to play Han Ying Zitherwo? It's really simple. First things first, we'll look at the basic attack. Straightforward. She also has a gap closer after dodging once and pressing basic like this. Now, we'll talk about her core passive straight away. First, you gotta do a 3 ping. And now you can see there is one point next to her dodge meter. This is called the dancing point. And how to spend this dancing point? You simply press dodge. She will do a dodge that doesn't consume her own dodge gauge like this and also some damage. Now, all her orbs are enhanced, so you only do one ping. Only one ping will be enhanced. Just like Chu, if you remember, they're pretty similar. But for Han Ying, it's only for one ping. And also, this form right now, where she has the green aura, this is called the dancing form. So during dancing form, she has increased orb generation, like this. See? From 13 to 16 already. Now, if you notice, after I did one dance by pressing dodge earlier, I got one of this fan stack right here, one of four. This is called glory stack. So when I do her enhanced orb, all glory stacks will be consumed to buff her enhanced orb. So each stack is 20% increased damage. This glory stack will also buff her ultimate if it's available. But once you spend all glory stacks, like once I ping this enhanced orb, she will exit dancing form. So let me just ping this enhanced blue orb and you'll see what I mean. So it's a different attack and that single glory stack is spent to enhance that enhanced orb earlier. Now let me go get more stacks, dancing points, like this. So four dancing points. So if I dodge four times in a row, You'll know what happened. We'll get four glory stacks. One, two, three, four. You can also see there's like a green AoE here, healing AoE. She gets healing and she also gets physical attack buff on herself, 10%. Now remember that I mentioned glory stacks can also be used to buff her ultimate. Now I'm going to use her ultimate and it's going to be buffed by a further 80% damage because there's four glory stacks, 20% each, like this. That's it, that's pretty much Han Ying's gameplay. It's really simple. Also, for her blue orb, that is her support orb. When she does blue orb, she gets healing and also the physical buff. Like that. Another thing to note is, if you continually run with Han Ying, she goes into a dash. Pretty cool. Really fast dash. So to recap, her modus operandi, basically, as much as you can, try to get 4 glory stacks and then you finish it off with either her enhanced orb or her ultimate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, four 3 pings and just dodge 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4 and then ultimate. Really fun gameplay. I really like her design. Like anything she does, she's always uh, elegant and graceful using her orb, red orb, yellow orb, blue orb, that, and then go into dancing mode. You can go into dancing mode like this and just keep attacking to get more orbs. 
since she generates orbs faster here. And since I already have a lot of orbs now, I'm just gonna build my orbs again, build my stacks. See? Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ultimate. So beautiful. That's about it. That's how you play Han Ying. As for her QTE, it's similar to her blue orb. It's gonna give healing and attack buff. That. That's it. That is Han Ying's gameplay at base. So, recap. Get the stacks. Build up the points. So, four. Dodge four times. One, two, three, four. And then it's up to you. You can use Enhanced Orb here or Ultimate to spend all the glory. Usually, when Ultimate is ready, then you just use Ultimate. That's it. That's Han Ying's tutorial. Let's move on to the next section, talking about her rank passive and the differences. Alright, as for her rank passives, S5, crit rate increases by 20%, very straightforward. And at SS rank, gain one dancer point every time upon entering the battlefield. That's the one where she uses her dodge, her free dodge, into, to go into dancer form. And damage increase effect increases by 40% when there are 4 stacks of glory. So when she has 4 stacks, that's 80% bonus, and she'll get another 40% bonus on top of it, so 120%. Pretty straightforward so far. At SS3 rank, successfully dodging with choreography grants 3 signal orbs of a random color. So this is really OP for Han Ying if you decide to play her on the field. Whenever you use your choreography, that's the dodge that uses up the dancing point stack. When she dodges an attack with it, she gets 3 signal orbs. So this can give really good back-to-back -back offensive when you're playing as Han Ying. And at SSS rank, the physical damage bonus of Ultra Limit Matrix increases. So this, there's a typo here, it actually increases to 20%. So her physical damage boost goes from 10% to 20%, like more support at SSS. And this one, attack of other Kaolong Uniframe in the team increases by 30%. So who are the other Kaolong Uniframe? It's already stated here. It's Chu and Pu Lao. If you remember, mixing Uniframes and Omniframes will always have a penalty. 30% if you bring both of them. So Han Ying will negate this penalty. So that you can play Kaolong characters, all three of them in one team. Moving on from SSS to SSS Plus rank, SSS 3. Extra damage bonus of 3 pings increases by 20%, straightforward. SSS 6, extra damage bonus of Glorious Steps increases by 50%. So Glorious Steps refers to the Enhanced Orb, so any of them, red, yellow, blue, all of them are increased by 50%. SSS plus rank is a little different. Ultimate extra damage bonus is increased by 50%. And for this one, when Kaolong Uniframes are under the effect of her physical buff, they all get a random set of 3 ping orbs, 4 second cooldown. Then they also get a shield based on Han Ying's attack by 50% for 8 seconds. Very straightforward so far for Han Ying's rank passives. As for Han Ying's gear, for her 6 star weapon, it's completely optional. You only get this if you really like her and you want to play her actively on the field. Full DPS, attack increases by 10%, and she can also chain orb pings once. And the damage bonus of each stack of glory is increased to 40% from the usual 20%, so double, even more damage. And for the other reason is for the 6 star resonance. So as usual, for support it's Glorious Spear, Superconducting Axial Ray, and for the third one it's, it's up to you. You can put deadline timing if you want more, even more orbs for her. For her memory, also standard for a support, for Da Vinci, 2 Philip, attack plus 15, crit plus 15 for the top resonance, and for the bottom resonance, it'll be core passive plus 1. If your Han Ying is already SSS and you want to play her as a dedicated support for the Kaolong team, then you can switch out the 2 Philips for 2 Catherine, so she will be there for the physical debuff. Everything else remains the same for the resonance. And that's about it, that's for her gear. And there you have it, pretty short guide overall. I hope this video has been helpful to you in understanding how to play Han Ying. Consider leaving a comment, like and subscribe to the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!
天机，匍匐在地上挣扎的蝼蚁，没化作历史的基本吧？与刀尖之上起舞，崩溃吧！你们才会停止挣扎。